Okay. I found a way to make PS3 controllers and whatnot work on PS4. It's not a cheap fix. Yeah, by no means it's cheap, but um, it does work. It is PlayStation 2. Now, it runs about 80 bucks or so in most places. I know there's cheaper things like the Chromis Max or whatever the hell it's called. It runs about 60, 70. Um, but you can't play video games on it. Uh, so, um, this is a slightly better alternative if you plan on actually using the damn thing. Um, as far as how it works, it's super good. You got the PlayStation TV plugged up and ready to go with everything. And the PlayStation TV can remote play PlayStation 4 games on it. Now, with that, you know, it comes with a DualShock 3 controller, a PS3 controller. And you can control it perfectly fine. Okay. Once you have uh, it linked to your PS4, on PS4 link. <clears throat> Go through all these menus and crap. If you don't have it already linked, it takes way longer than this. But if you do, if you've done it already, it doesn't take very long. Okay. And I already got Guilty Gear X Surge set up on PS4. Now, you can see it's moving through menus and stuff on here with no problem. You can go to uh, Character Select. And I know some people like using the DualShock 3 controller. I personally don't like it. I don't like most of the first party controllers for any system, which is why I've tried so many different things to not have to use standard PlayStation 4 controller. But this is what it looks like using the screen from uh, the PlayStation TV. It's got a little bit of lag, it's not too bad. Some grab somebody here. Right off of me showing it an actual gameplay. Now watching it using actual remote play on the PlayStation TV, it looks kind of green and everything, but that's to be expected. And you got a little bit of lag. But if you change the input to the PlayStation 4 itself. I don't even know how it's this ass backwards, but whatever. It has much less lag. It's actually like playable. Okay, that's that. Now, I don't want to use this thing either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my adapter and plug in a whole different control altogether. First, I need to turn this off. Or for me to turn this off, I need to. Switch my input back so I can see what the hell I'm actually doing. Put it down. Turn this controller off altogether. It might boot me out of remote play. I don't know. We'll find that in a second. Yeah, okay. But. Using a Mayflash adapter. Plug it into the PlayStation TV. Basically, use PS2 fight pad. And read it just fine, just like the PS3 controller because of the adapter. And it's going to search again, which isn't going to take too long. It's taking longer than I want it to, though. But okay. Switching back to screen for the, the input for PS4. Okay. I don't know how well you can see. Lighting is kind of ass in this room right now, but uh, still a little bit of input delay. And I have the PlayStation TV hooked up through Wi-Fi. If I use an Ethernet cable, it's probably much faster. But I'll do that later. But it's just showing that this works. Input's fine and everything. 
check my controls, make sure everything's good. Now, I'm sure, I don't know if you can use like the PS4 controller with this to use a headset or whatever. I personally don't care. I'm fine just playing this and not talking to people, whatever. But this does work. So yeah, there you go. Um, and of course, anything that works normally on the PS3 um, by way of an adapter or whatever else, um, it'll work in here just fine. It'll, it'll pick it up just fine. Like I can use the same adapter, pick up uh, a 36 controller or whatever, and it'll still pick up. And yeah, it's an expensive fix, but if you have to have something that works, it's better than nothing. Like I said, the PlayStation TV, most places right now have it for 80 bucks, and that's just for the PlayStation TV itself. You get the bundle for about 100 which comes with the PS3 controller, uh, Lego movie game download code, um, and an 8 gigabyte memory card for Vita. Um, yeah, like I said, if you can't find anything else, or if you're already planning on buying a PlayStation TV, already have one, got a friend that's giving the shit away, whatever, it does work. So, there you go. Like I said, it's better than nothing. That's all I got.